Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and today's video is a super exciting unboxing. I got this bag months ago, I filmed the unboxing and unfortunately the audio was horrible. Even though I was alone in a room with the door closed, you could hear everything going on outside the room, cartoons on the TV, my family talking, you could pretty much hear everything except me. So this is unfortunately a voiceover. I usually do my unboxings live but it is what it is. Another thing that I was unable to do in this video is to do a little bit of vlogging of the experience of buying this bag. You may have noticed that I've recently tried to make the effort to do that for really special purchases. However, when I bought this bag, the Hermes store was more crowded than I have ever experienced, even pre-pandemic. So I'm not really sure what that was about. There were so many walk-in customers. I had to wait for my essay. Hermes is certainly a much more popular brand now than it was when I was initially introduced to the brand many years ago, but there were just so many people in store, person after person asking for Birkins and Kellys and being told no. Also, there were a couple of famous people in the store that day, one of whom I later found out is apparently a Korean celebrity. I didn't know who this was. I only know this because there were some customers freaking out over this person and I asked and they told me who it was. I normally shop by myself but I had family with me that day and then when I finally got the bag the manager actually came out to say hi to us and we had a lovely conversation which has never happened to me before so there was just too much going on to even think about pulling out my phone which is something that I'm not particularly good at anyway so let's go ahead and unbox the bag and afterwards I'll tell you how this came about just to remind you I had three bags on my wish list this year but I told you guys in an update that I did earlier in the year that my essay told me that there was zero chance that I was getting my first choice which was the Kelly 25 Cellier E-Tube with gold hardware. I already got my second choice bag which was a Kelly 25 Retourne in black with gold hardware and my third choice is a Birkin 25. So that's the backstory. If you feel like playing along let me know if you think that my essay pulled a rabbit out of her hat and magically got me my Kelly 25 Cellier or you think it's something else. So let's go ahead and unbox and I'll tell you the story afterwards. So here's the box. And here it is. This is the Birkin 25 in Togo leather. The color is Etoop with gold hardware. Are you guys surprised or is this what you were expecting? So here's the backstory on how I was able to get this bag. As I mentioned, my essay said that the Kelly 25 Cellier was not going to be an option this year. So we moved on to my third choice, which was the Birkin 25. I told her that I'm pretty open to colors with the exception of orange and purple. They are an absolute no-go, but as always, my preference is for a neutral. But the caveat was I didn't want a neutral that I already have. So no black, no gold, and no Etan. But honestly, I didn't even think about the Birkin 25 in a tube because in that color, I only had the Kelly in mind. So I told my essay that I would love one of those beautiful seasonal neutrals. And as far as a pop of color, basically I would just have to see it. And if I was drawn to it, I would be open to accepting it. I also said that my preference was palladium hardware, but I would accept any hardware. So what do you think of my new bag? I don't think that the color is showing accurately on the video so I'll insert some pictures of when I've taken this bag out in natural light, no filter. I am so happy to have this bag especially because it took me quite a while to get it. This was a very tough year for getting offers at Hermes. So as I mentioned I got my Kelly 25 Retourne earlier in the year and that bag took me longer to get than any other Hermes bag that I had gotten previously and at that time my essay told me about the production and stock issues which I've told you about in several videos this year but I feel like I've really been on an island on my own saying that in the U.S. because I can't speak for other countries the bags really are not in the back like they've been in years past but it seems like until recently I was pretty much on my own saying this everyone else said otherwise but the reason why I believe this to be true that Hermes really had genuine production and 
and stock issues this year is because, well, firstly, everything in the world seemed to have been in short supply. So it stands to reason that the finest leathers in the world wouldn't be plentiful on a year like this. Also, I'm not sure about other parts of the world, but here in the US, a lot of products that require in-person skilled labor that take countless hours to make has been short supply and getting those items into the country with shipping issues has been a nightmare. So I would have been surprised had there not been an Hermes bag shortage in the US this year. But also my essay has never lied to me. For example, she was very honest with me about why I wouldn't be offered the Kelly 25 Cellier. And it's not that that combo never comes into store, but it comes in so infrequently at this point. And it's a bag that VIPs have on their wish list. And I'm just not a priority for my particular store to get that bag. So when she told me back in February that there would be a shortage of bags this year, I believed her. In fact, she had to really fight for me to get that Kelly 25 earlier in the year because the Birkins and the Kellys in the smaller sizes are really what everyone is asking for. So a few months after I got my Kelly 25, when I asked her about my next quota bag, she said that the stock situation had really not improved and she didn't have anything to offer me. And my essay told me it's not just bags, silks, SLGs, homeware. She just had very little to offer people. And you have to understand how unusual this is. My boutique is usually one of the best stocked boutiques in the country. But there was a brief period when so much stock of everything came into store. That's when my essay called me and offered me the choice between two Birkin 30s, which I told you about in my update video, but I already have my two dream Birkin 30 combinations, so I rejected those. So it took over a month for her to be able to get another offer approved for me. And this time she said that I could either have this bag that I eventually got or the Birkin 25 Etant Togo with gold hardware. But that was a pretty easy choice because A, I I already have an Eton Kelly and B, I really like the color Eton best with palladium hardware. I do also really like it with rose gold hardware, but I'm not the biggest fan of it with gold hardware. So the stock situation had definitely improved from earlier in the year. But as I mentioned earlier, there were a lot of people that weren't regular Hermes customers when I was there asking for bags and being rejected because there was a drought of bags for such a long period of time in my store that when bags finally Finally came in, they were really only able to fulfill the wishes of clients who had been waiting for some time, especially if you were a VIP or a big spender. And even a few longtime customers like me, who may not really spend much money in the store, but we're very loyal and we love the brand. And even for customers that aren't regular clients of my boutique, I do think that there was a brief period over the summer into early fall where things seem to have gone back to a bit of normalcy, where if you were not asking for the most popular bags in the size 25, it was entirely possible to get a quota bag from my store without spending a ton of money or waiting for a ridiculous amount of time. I think if you came on the right day, met the right essay, and you were polite, it was possible to get a Birkin or Kelly in a larger size, like a Birkin 35 or a Kelly 32 or 35 with minimal spending. And if you were willing to drop a little bit of money, I think that a Birkin 35 was possible. However, the situation has drastically changed at my boutique again, and it's so different now. I haven't been back to my boutique or contacted my essay since I got this bag. She contacted me just to say hi. I didn't ask about stock or bags. From what I'm hearing, the New York City stores have become really difficult and competitive. I'm hoping that this changes next year and everything will go back to normal, but we'll see. So this is my new bag. Let me know what you think. Now that I have this bag, I I'm so happy that I got the color Etoup in a Birkin rather than a Kelly when I compared it to my Etan Kelly. It's kind of difficult to explain, but I was thinking about doing a follow-up video about Hermes classic neutrals since I pretty much have them all. Etan, gold, Etoup. Let me know if you're interested in seeing something like that. And I've completely changed my wish list for the Kelly 25, which you'll hear all about in my wish list video. Since I've actually had this bag for a few months now and I've used it quite a bit, I've taken it all around the city 
I was also thinking about doing a video comparing the Birkin 25 to the Birkin 30, and also perhaps a video on the Birkin 25 versus the Kelly 25, both in Retourne. Let me know if any of these videos appeal to you and what you'd be interested in seeing first. I'm completely open to suggestions, so feel free to tell me what videos you're interested in seeing, but I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you all so much for watching my videos this year and subscribing to my channel. Since my channel is so small, it really means the world to me when you all subscribe and leave comments. It seriously motivates me to make more videos. Parenthood and working full-time outside of the home takes up most of my time, but this is such a fun hobby. But it's really the interaction with you guys that makes it so fun. So I really make it a point to respond to every comment and answer every question. So thanks again for all the support. Happy holidays if you celebrate. Please subscribe to my channel. That would make my day and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.